What going on everybody and welcome to the Amazingly Fit and Healthy YouTube channel. In my last video, I spoke about foods you should avoid when you have hypothyroidism. If you haven't watched it, I will leave a link in the description below. But before we get into today's video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and press the notification bell. Also give this video a thumbs up so that other persons can benefit from it. Make sure to also follow me on all my social media platforms and join my Facebook group. I will leave a link to all those in the description below. Okay, so in today's video, I will talk about foods you can include in your diet when you have hypothyroidism. Today's video is not going to be long, so stay tuned. Okay, so for persons who have hypothyroidism, the main problem is lack of iodine. So you want to make sure that you are getting the best of it. And I can tell you for sure that the best source of iodine is from seaweed. And according to the Family Health Guide, Nova Scotia adults and the Norwegian kelp are the best balanced source of trace minerals. Now that is out of the way, we are going to look at the first one. And that is fresh carrot juice. You can't go wrong with this. So carrot juice improves the thyroid function slightly. This is something that you can drink on a daily basis. All you need to do is just blend a couple of carrots and drink it. It's that simple. Okay, coming in at number two is mustard greens. And did you know that mustard greens contain the largest amount of tyroxine of any cooking greens? Well, if you didn't know, now you know. So tyroxine is a constituent of thyroid hormones. And in Russia, radishes have been used to treat both types of thyroid problems. And this is a, there actually there is a chemical in radish called raclanine. And it is said to keep the tyroxine level in balance. Our next one is for babies and it, that is, you guessed it, the mother's milk. So a mother's milk is a good treatment for hypothyroid babies and it helps to protect normal babies from developing the problem until weaning. Next we have our vitamins. There are certain vitamins needed to aid in the absorption of iodine. For example, vitamin A is necessary for iodine to be properly absorbed. We have vitamin B work together to nourish the um, nourish the thyroid, and B6 helps the thyroid to use the enzyme effectively in hormone production. And then we have B12, which helps the thyroid to work properly. Next, we have is selenium, and this is a micronutrient that plays a role in the production of thyroid hormone, and it has antioxidant activity. Now the thyroid tissue naturally contains it and foods rich in selenium includes oats, brazil nuts, whole wheat bread and chicken. Okay guys that is pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and smash that notification bell. Also join my Facebook group. Until next time, bye bye.